Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster, and today we have a ton of Black Series news to go over. We do have news, including like the new uh, Clone Wars target wave that is actually starting to hit stores now, a week early. And then we, we also have news on the Archive Wave 5 and uh, the Rogue One re release wave, and like uh, when they'll be announced and the official release date for that. So stay tuned later in the video to find out more. But first, if you would, go down, hit that like button, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, because it does really help me out quite a bit. And we are also doing a giveaway at 2,500 subs. I know, like, we're, like, 60 subs away, or 40 subs away from, like, 20, uh, 2,000, which is just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to set a goal on the channel to hit 2,000 subs by the end of the week. That'd be amazing, and thank you guys for all the support. But at uh, 2,500 subs, I will be giving away this archive code. Cody, so you do have to be subscribed to the channel to enter, but uh, yeah, we are aiming for 2k subs by the end of the week, so thank you guys so much. And then I also want to give a shout out to a Star Wars action figure lover on Instagram. Uh, he does a bunch of amazing content, he does like news and a bunch of different stuff like that on his Instagram, so go check it out, it will be linked in the description, and uh, yeah, on to the news. So first up in the news, Disney Parks actually just released their new Darksaber, Legacy Darksaber, and uh, it's interesting. Definitely interesting. So we do have a few photos of it right now. Here's the first one. Uh, to me, I just never saw the dark saber being this like dark of a color for the hilt. This is like a jet black color for the hilt, and it looks really weird. I always thought it was like a light to dark or gray. And um, I know this is like the Mandalorian adaptation of it, but it just looks like a weird shade. It looks like it's all blacked out, barely any paint on it, and it just looks really weird in my opinion. And uh, also, one thing I just have to point out, look at the emitter at the top. It's super thick. Whenever you get past the little cross guard, though, it goes skinny, and it's it just looks really weird. I don't know. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be the same thickness all the way through, and they just did something weird with that, and I just... I just can't do it. I think this is one where the Hasbro Black Series one actually beats the Legacy Saber because that one looks so much better than what uh, Disney decided to do with this. Also photos with the blade and you know it's alright. Uh, this thing is sold all together with the hilt and the blade for 200 bucks. So it is uh, about $50 cheaper than the Black Series one but I gotta say I think the Black Series one definitely still wins. I just think this one looks really really weird. Anyway, we do actually have news on Cal Kestis. He is now shipping out and arriving at people's uh, houses that ordered them. I actually ordered mine when it pre-ordered, and I just got mine today. He's looking amazing, so uh, we'll throw up a, sh a few photos of what he looks like in his box there. But I do have to say, he's just an outstanding figure, and I have to recommend him to anybody who's interested in him at all, because he is really great. And, uh, yeah, so if you did pre-order that, check your emails, make sure you got, like, a confirmation email, and uh, you should be getting a shipping alert pretty soon if you haven't already. And we also just have to talk about the Target exclusive Clone Wars way. We have tons of news on that. Uh, first up is that we actually do know the official release date for these guys. And that is Sunday, May 23rd, which is pretty cool. So uh, these are the days that it should officially show up in your store. But uh, they are actually showing up in many stores early. I know I've seen like countless numbers of people on Instagram and uh, other places saying that they've got them in hand. Uh, from Target, so uh, I will throw up the DCPIs real quick, or DPCI, whatever you want to call it. I'll throw up those real quick. If uh, you do go to your Target show and employ these numbers, they'll put it through the system and see if they have it in stock, and uh, th that'll definitely help quite a bit. But uh, yeah, so they are showing up early, which is amazing, and they're not street dated, which is even better because that means you know you can go in and you can just buy them straight out you don't have to wait for a certain date to buy them you can go and actually just check out right there which is amazing I'm glad that they're th these aren't street dated because that would just make them so much harder to get and then of course we also have news on uh, like how these guys are being shipped so they will be shipped in of course cases of six so uh, this is good because instead of a full wave which would be uh, eight figures two of each in that wave instead of doing that they're getting four cases of six each so like one case of obi-wans one case of anakin's one case of echoes you know all that straightforward so they're essentially getting uh what that'd be six times four that's 24 figures rather than getting the uh two cases of eight which would be of course uh 16 figures and uh, this is really cool because they're getting way more figures than they normally would and uh 
that that's just great. They're stocking the the shelves better, and that's amazing. I also heard that they should officially like if if your target has stock early, they should officially restock it on the 23rd as well. So uh, yeah, these figures are being pretty well stocked, which is just really really nice. And uh, really, the biggest problem with these cases is that uh you know one case gets like lost or they doesn't get put out with the rest of them, then you could end up getting like Obi Wan, Anakin, and uh, Hawk, but Echo's still in the back, not on the shelves yet. That's the biggest problem with uh, them shipping it differently. But uh, honestly, I think that that's all right because they have them. They they should get them all at the same time. They have them. It's just the matter of when the employees actually put them out. And um, yeah, honestly, I think this is great because it just allows collectors a better chance of actually getting these figures. And speaking of that uh, Black Series Clone Wars wave, we do have images of Echo out of the box, and he is looking really, really nice. Do have to say, uh, yeah, this guy is just amazing. We do have tons of photos of this guy there's like something wrong with the helmet i have seen seen some inconsistencies with the helmet like some like different paint like mess ups and stuff like that and uh most of them seem to be pretty uh consistent but there's a few here and there that look kind of messed up kind of like this helmet here but honestly i'm all right with that i'm just pretty hyped to get this wave and yeah, definitely checking my target like every night for the next two weeks because I'm super hyped to get these. And then we also have an official date for more Black Series reveals. I'm assuming it'll be a live stream, of course. But uh, there is four Black Series A is what it's called, which uh, I'm assuming is Black Series Archive. And uh, yeah, the, so there's four of those rumored and then another six Black Series rumored. So uh, I think it's pretty safe to say that the four Black Series A is four Black Series Archive or four... Black Series Archive Wave 5 figures, and we already know what those are. That is uh, the 501st Trooper, A New Hope Leia, Darth Revan, and Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan, and those are great figures, so definitely just hyped for that. Gonna get like five of those 501st Troopers. It's gonna be great. But, uh, you know, some people were speculating what the other six figures will be, and um, I think that we don't really know this for sure, but I'm guessing that these will be the six uh, Rogue One figures that are planning on getting like a photo reel uh, re-release this year because uh, they did announce already that they would be doing a Rogue One re-release wave and I think that this is about time for it to actually happen and uh, yeah I'm pretty hyped about that it should be of course you know the the main six Jen uh, K K2SO, Cassian, um, you know, all the main ones. I'm not going to go through name them all. But there is also the uh, the pilot as well. I cannot remember his name anyway. But the pilot, which didn't get an original release, is also going to be uh, released with this wave as well, kind of like Zeb was for the Rebels wave. So, yeah, I'm super hyped about that. There's tons of stuff that they're going to do with this, and I'm just super happy. Hopefully we get maybe some more Bad Batch reveals then too, but, uh, you know, who knows. And uh, that's actually going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy it, that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It does really help me out a lot. And like I said, we are aiming for 2,000 subs by the end of the week. So if you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.